talking heads, broadcast messages, press releases. They're telling you their side, but you just want the facts. And that's why you come to me. I give you the statistics without spin. Out of 116 million working age Nigerians, 35.5 million are employed full time. That's 30 percent. I give you the context. I give you the history. I fight fake news with facts. Kayode. Let me talk. No, Kayode, I will. I will let you talk. Kayode. Kayode. I will let you talk if you let me talk. Kayode. That's why more and more Lagosians are tuning in. Half a million Lagosians. 720,000. 970,000. Over one million Lagosians. They know that if you give me your afternoon, I will give you hard facts. No, don't send her all going beyond the headlines and focus on the facts. I am Sandra Ezekwasili, and these are your hard facts. Hello, Lagos. Good afternoon. I am Sandra Ezekwesili, and these are your hard facts. I know, I know, I scars pass with you all. I know, amen. <laughs> First hard fact of the day there's no World Cup match today, so I am back, and I'll be here tomorrow as well from 3 p.m. Um, all the way until. Um, 7 p.m. You you have a full day with me as well. Like it's you and I today, you and I tomorrow. We're gonna have a good time. I've been really enjoying this World Cup. Um, um, I don't mean the time off, but yes, that as well. I've been enjoying the time off as well. But the matches. My husband has been forcing me to watch all the matches, you know, and any team he supports, I'll support the other side. And it's been like a fun thing that we do in the house, right? The matches have been so exciting. Did you see Morocco? Did you see Morocco? Like, play, like, play. They knocked out Spain, Lagos. But hey, I mean, kudos to them, man. They did an amazing job. They defended with such discipline. And not just in that particular match. Um, even in all their group games, they defended very well. So, well done to Morocco. Now, of course, they don't see themselves as an, Af as an African country. So, I don't think of their win as a continental win if you know what i mean oh by the way ronaldo fans waiting to occur eh what's happening to your goat they benched him yesterday and worse than that the small boy that replaced ronaldo now scored a hat trick waiting they occur i'm not even sure that the goat will start the next match how does see waiting they occur if you're a Ronaldo fan, I want to hear your thoughts on this situation with uh, Ronaldo. 0700-993-993-993. That's the number to call. Women, call me on 01-465-7190. I hope those two lines are still working. I've been away for a while, so I have no idea what the tech is and what the tech isn't. But before I take your calls, my phone is already ringing. Uh, I have a second hard fact to share with you. It's, it's really important. PVC collection starts on Monday, Monday, December 12th. Uh huh, and it runs until January twenty second of next year. January twenty second next year is a Sunday. PVC collection is seven days a week from nine a.m. to three p.m. So remember that, okay? And go and pick up your PVC and make sure that you vote. And while you're there, if you witness a story, if you witness an agent doing what they shouldn't be doing. Take a video of it. Give us a call on 01-465-7175. That's the number that takes you direct gang, 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 inside the Nigerian Info Newsroom. Like you will get somebody on the news desk taking your call. Just call them, but make sure you have as many details as possible. What's the name of the ward? Don't do that thing that people like to do. Oh, I don't want to call names. Please call names. Thank you. We are, we're trying to, you know, set this country on the right path. No be so. We're trying to make sure that everybody can vote. Whoever you want to vote for. I don't care who you want to vote for. As long as you can vote. And as long as nobody is getting in the way of you voting. That's what I'm for. And 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 don't be one of those people who will say, oh, eh, but will these elections count? They will count. Oh, look at all the magumago that people are trying to do so that you will not be able to vote. Look at if they're, if they're working so hard. To make sure that they can buy your vote. To make sure they can have money to pay you on election day. If they are doing all that hard work, it tells you that the technology has gotten to a point now where almost your vote could count. 
And if on election day you sit down inside your house and you don't go and vote, you're voting for whoever ends up winning. Whoever wins. If you don't like P2B and you're sitting in your house on election day and you don't go and vote for whoever it is you like, P2B will win. If you don't like Atiku and you're sitting in your house on the day election happens, Atiku will win. If you don't like Tinubu and you're sitting in your house on the day election happens, Tinubu will win. Same for Lagos. If you don't like Jando and you're in the house, Jando will win. Tinubu, uh, sorry, uh, uh, Songolu will win. Uh, Badebo Road Survivor will win. So you have to take it as a personal challenge. Whoever I'm not voting for, that person is winning. So you better go and vote on election day. But the first step is to collect your PVC. And collection starts December 12th, next week, Monday, seven, uh, sorry, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. every day. And it, it, um, uh, con it ends on the 22nd of January next year. Seven days a week. So go in anytime and pick up your card. Uh, and of course, if you're there, make sure that you're reporting whatever happens at your college collection center. Make sure you're reporting it direct to 01-465-7175. 01-465-7175. I've got a great show for you today. We'll start with the big three. Let's talk about Bola Tinubu's um, delegation of questions at Chatham House. It has Nigeria in a buzz. Then let's talk uh, about Tinubu saying that he built Lagos. Did he build Lagos? Let's talk about that. Then let's talk about the CBN's latest restrictions on cash withdrawals. On today's glass ceiling, yes, it's Wednesday. I love coming back on on a Wednesday because I get to bring you the glass ceiling, right? I want to talk to you about financial abuse on today's glass ceiling. I want to talk specifically about a scenario where some men sabotage their wives' businesses or jobs or careers. It happen, no? I will give you plenty gist. 4 p.m. That's when that's coming your way. On Balogun and Broad, let's talk some more about the CBN's um, new rules, about how they could affect businesses, especially the businesses in the informal sector, which make up a bulk of those who are in business in Nigeria today. After the news at 6, let's talk to you about exports. Agogo will be here to bring you Bill to Go Global. Expect news, business and sports at the top of the hour every hour. But let's get right into today's Big 3 Lagos. I'm excited. I cannot wait. I'm Sandra Ezekwesili, and these are your hard facts. This is the big three. The big three. On the hard facts. On 99.3 Nigeria Info. Should a presidential candidate redirect questions to AIDS? Did Tinubu build Lagos? How will CBN's new cash restrictions affect the informal economy? CBN's new cash restrictions, how will it affect the economy? Those are the big three, Lagos. Let's talk. Our first story is Bola Tinubu's two appearances at Chatham House in London. Uh, by the way, we're streaming live on Facebook. Facebook is Nigeria Info 99.3. YouTube, Nigeria Info FM. I have videos to show you today. If you haven't seen them, today's a good day. So let me wait for you to log on. Nigeria Info 99.3, that's our website. Or just go to our Facebook live stream, Nigeria Info 99.3. 99.3, Nigeria Info uh, on Facebook, YouTube, Nigeria Inc. for FM. Now, uh, Chatham House is a think tank on global affairs. They often invite politicians from strategic countries like Nigeria to talk about their plans. And so they invited Bola Tinubu this week. He made a presentation. But when it was time to answer questions, when they asked him a few questions, he did this. One of those philosophers, I want a doctrine that I believe family in, is teamship. Unbreakable team. To demonstrate that, I will choose the first question, assign it to Dele Alake. Okay. And the second question assigned to Nasiru Erufai. 
And third question assigned to, to Ben Ayadi. All right, so uh, can we have microphone coming in the front? And the first question is about blood oil. Uh, pump, yeah, oil. Now, if you were watching, of course, you saw when uh, members of Tinubu's team came over and handed him a piece of paper. Of course, I don't know what's on the piece of paper, but that was right before he said that the third question will be answered by Ben Ayade. Yes, Lagos, the presidential candidate of the APC, uh, when asked directly about key policy points, pointed to other people on his team and asked them to answer for him. What's your position on this? You have different people asking you for your vote. Those votes that we talked about before we got into the big three proper, the votes uh, that your PVC allows you to cast when you go and collect them from December 12th, those votes, different people are asking you for those votes, right? Do you believe that those people who are asking you to vote for them should answer all the questions that they are asked directly? Or do you believe that they should be able to ask somebody to answer for them? 0700-993-993-993. Fesis Kayamo says that there's nothing wrong with it. He gave the example of U.S. President Joe Biden. At a press conference on COVID, Biden directed some questions to Dr. Anthony Fauci. But Lagos, remember... Biden was already president. Back when Biden was a candidate, he wasn't redirecting questions on his, uh, uh, to his team. 01465-7190. Women call us on that number. 01465-7190. Now, from a media perspective, I can say that it is quite unusual to see a candidate do this? Last month, I moderated the Lagos Business School Alumni uh, Town Hall. Peter Obi and Atiku Abubakar both spoke. After speaking, they both answered all their questions. They had their teams with them. Oh. Obi was with Gadebo Roads Viva. He was with Aisha Yesufu. He was with a bunch of people. Atiku Ksef came with Godwin Obaseki uh, and uh, the governor of Akwaibom State, a bunch of other governors, right? But these two candidates did not ask their, uh, their entourage to answer the questions on their behalf. Oh, and speaking of Atiku, he's criticizing Tinubu. Well, that's to be expected. Now, opposition them be now. And Atiku said, quote, it is baffling that Tinubu could not defend his manifesto, which he personally launched amid fanfare. His action was like a final year student calling on his colleagues to come and help him defend his project. Utterly disgraceful. End quote. Atiku's words there, not mine. What do you think about people looking for your vote having other people answer questions that were directed at them. Do you believe that they should answer the questions that you've asked them directly? Or do you believe, come on, there's nothing wrong with them delegating? Is there a difference between reading a prepared speech and answering questions from an audience? Does one of... These two things require better on-the-spot thinking than the other. Does one of these two things force the candidate to know what they're talking about in a way that the other one doesn't? What do you think, Lagos? I'll give you a minute to tell me. Everybody gets one minute to tell me. 0700-993-993-993. And then, Ronaldo fans, people have been calling since. I still want to hear what you think is happening to your go-to. 01465-7190. We've got WhatsApp as well. Share your thoughts there. WhatsApp is 80 959 99.3. Hello. Sorry about that. Call back if you can. Good afternoon. President Sandra. Good to have you on the show, sir. What's your name? Welcome. Thank you. What's your name? Wow. 
This is Chris, your senior special advisor. Chris, should candidates treat every engagement like a job interview where they must answer questions for themselves? Or can they delegate? Um, President Sandra, mm-hmm. you know, for me, Nigerian politicians, uh, I said I want to uh, excuse myself, but he said, my own life, Nigeria is in concern. As Nigeria is concerned, I had to say something. Okay. For this is out uh, house uh, story, Kuyamu uh, told us the other day because we don't have a manifesto. The man will not take part in uh, in uh, the debate or hunter hall. Now the same man is saying because of uh, he's a front runner. Nigerians are attacking him. The media want to make money out of him. Now the man has told you that a milokon that is his son. So all these people are questioning. Oh, how come he give answer to another person? He might have made it clear that he's his son. So let's see how I go about it. Chris, thanks for calling. You did answer my question, but thank you for calling. Joy is in Lagos. Hi, Joy. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Joy. See, I would not like to vote for a president, so incoming president. I would be directly question. That means he's telling me when situation is going on in this country. Hmm. I, he will direct those people to us to be asking us questions, and he will go and relax for we are. Okay. And again, he's talking about Biden. Mm. That, that this thing, they cannot tolerate it in U.S. Mm. Oh, somebody has already sitting before doing all those things, mm. and you are using it to compare somebody what that want to come into to a seat that he cannot even answer those questions mm. direct. Mm. That means he's not fit to be there. All if right. Nigeria wants uh, the ancestors to continue to rule, then let them continue. Joy, thanks for calling us. Remember, everybody gets one minute. 99.3. Hi, Sandra. How are you? What's your name? I'm fine. This is Remy. Welcome. You've got one minute. Um, Tilbu's um, in Chathamas was a show of shame, if I'm to say. He's the one vying for the position of the president. Okay. What, what is our business with his delegate? Even though he picked Hello Fight to speak on insecurity, the same person whose state is ravaged by insurgency is the one speaking on security. Uh, well, it's not their fault. It's not their fault. They believe Nigerians are gullible enough to fall for this innovative thing they are trying to um, attach to this disgrace. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Let's uh, take a few more thoughts. 99.3, hello. Hi, Sandra. How are you? What's your name? My name is Tony. Good afternoon. Sorry, I have um, a sore throat. It's okay. Oh, that's unfortunate. Call back on you if you can. And sorry about your sore throat. Okay, unfortunate with that as well. 99.3, hello. 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 Good afternoon. Good afternoon. What's your name, sir? Hi, I'm a... Sir. How are you? He Esquire, Professor Koboko. Oh, he was Esquire now. Uh, yes, ma. He had to Esquire. Okay. Happy World Cup. Welcome. I am I am enjoying it. Can I please talk about you, Ronaldo? Yes, now. And see, Ronaldo is now my number one, and I like this guy. Mm. Eh? Mm-hmm. Just that uh, the coach, job is on the line. Okay. Ronaldo is getting old, mm. and he's now becoming careless to the uh, defender. Mm. So he, uh, he had to bring a fresh, vibrant young guy mm. that will operate and attack the defend, uh, defenders of the opponent. Mm. So... He, he don't have to gamble in mm. So anybody can be benched. Mm. If, I'm a, if, if I'm a coach, mm-hmm. I will use any technical and tactical apparatus and formation to win my game. Okay. Now, but that's what I do. Okay. Sister, uh. for, my own, in, my, for my own sense and my own understanding, uh. this is what is called a political abracadabra, okay. a political advertisement, okay. a political insult. Mm-hmm. You are not using your team. To answer questions for you. So your team now is the presidential debater. Okay, thank you for calling. Mary is a limo show. Hi, Mary. Hello, good evening. Mary, how do you view Tinubu's decision to let others answer questions for him? Uh, I, I don't think it's right. Okay. And, you know, for somebody who is supposed to be leading us, okay. I feel even if his cabinet is, what do you call his cabinet, um, you know, that he does see yeah, teamwork. Uh, he believes in teamwork. Yeah, teamwork. Team Even ship. if it's a teamwork, yes. Yeah. Mm. And you are you are you are the face of a leader, right? It just felt as if I was again like we're watching who wants to be a leader where you have option for yeah, this, this, that, that, this. <laughs> Do you understand? It, it didn't feel right. Mm. Like 
uh, call a friend mm. uh, 50-50. Mm. Like, it didn't, it, didn't feel, it didn't even feel right. If you right. could write that manifesto, if you claim you wrote that manifesto, right. who's looking from just answering simple questions? You don't need to be perfect. We were not looking for 100 over 100. We were just looking for you to have an idea mm -hmm. and then tell us how you intend to execute this idea. Right. Do you understand? Right. So at the end of the day, if this kind of person gets into power, he will not even come out. Mary, thank you very much for calling. Now, of course, uh, Tinubu did not write his manifesto. Nobody writes their manifesto by themselves. But, of course, uh, a manifesto is a representation of the ideas that you want to implement once you get into office. So I just had to um, point that out so that, because I know that people would now start calling, oh, Sandra, you allowed someone to say Tinubu wrote manifesto and you didn't correct them. People like to major in the minor, you know. So I like to be as a, as a, <laughs> as clear as possible, you understand okay all right we'll take a break when we come back from this break our second story is also about tinubu at chatham house this time it's the one-on-one -on -one interview that he gave immediately after his presentation you don't want to miss that i promise you there's a lot to talk about there and you can still keep talking about our first story when we come back from this break how do you personally, as the person who will be voting, view Tinubu's decision to let others answer questions for him? I'm Sandra Ezekwesli. This is Nigeria Info. It's MIPAN 2023 Business Outlook Session. Media Independent Practitioners Association of Nigeria, MIPAN, presents the Nigeria Business Outlook for 2023. Topic, 2023, Nigerian Economy. Trajectories. Can digital marketing brave the storm? Guest speaker, Taiwo Oyedele, fiscal policy and Africa. Every day is a new experience for me here. And I get, I mean, look, see how excited I was coming into this studio. It was like a kid in a candy shop. What I enjoy doing the most here, let me put it in my own words, is dear Bumi, because it's relaxing, it's hilarious. Um, and of course, I, I, for the life of me, I would never miss um, doing programs with Sheriff in the morning. It's one of the best, that's what keeps me uh, alive and going. I think the one that I would remember the most, uh, believe you me, is the one I did with Made Kuti, uh, Femi's son. Um, every time I looked at, you know, every time I think of the young guy, I feel so inspired. Because I'm always thinking of tomorrow. I'm youth driven. I'm not saying I'm a youth, -o, <laughs> but I'm youth driven. Oh, the best thing about being a radio show host is when people hold your hand in public, they pray for you, they send you messages and appreciate what you're doing. Because it's apart from it being a big job, it's a sacrifice. If you want to do this job well, it is a big, big sacrifice. I'm not known to be a liar. I'm, I'm somebody who, and the reason why, why I don't lie about such things is I don't want to be caught out. Okay, so if I overslept, you hear me on radio saying, sorry I came late, I overslept. I don't want anybody telling me that this is what happened. You know, I'm very conscious of that. So I don't think I ever lied not to be on air. I'd have called ahead to say, uh, because I'm a professional to the core, and you can ask those who work with me. If I can't make it, Sometimes I'd call Sheriff in the morning and say, Sheriff, oh, let me. I'm tired. If I'm tired, I'm tired, you know. So I don't think I've been caught out as such. I can't remember any time. It's Alexander Rado! <laughs> <laughs> Liverpool are majestic. You can't coach against them. City have to defend for six minutes. They do not want to attack this. Felon Mendy across into the penalty area, headed down by the Madrid players. Still Madrid hopping around City's penalty box. A chance could come for them. It's 1 1 on the night. It's 4 5 for Nabi. Gets behind it up. It's a wild one. 2 2. They are back. Incredible. Well, one of the great nights um, as a radio football commentator, certainly. Uh, it was special, it was special. You could sense it, so I literally could sense um, a potential comeback and it wasn't a surprise that it happened, but you know, how I was still able to articulate my words after that goal came in, uh, something magical. So, one of those great minds. It's Alexander Rado! 
Liverpool are majestic. You can't coach against this. I'm a soccer for Trent. You know, if he wasn't a Liverpool player, I would wear a jersey with Trent at the back. Um, that was special. It was a free kick from about 38, 40 yards against Chelsea, a team I you know, somehow didn't fancy. Um, it was special and I fell off the seat. It's a classic. I don't think any commentator has been done. Oh, what fun is to win in the lot of Braids and Millions promo! Christmas came early. Everyone is a winner in the Lush Hair Breaks a Millions promo. Get free 100 MB MTN data guaranteed on each pack and a chance to win 1 million Naira, a car, generator, and other amazing prizes. Simply buy Lush Hair Wow, Ready, Jumbo, or Mega Breaks Pack. Open the pack flap, scratch for pin, and SMS your unique pin to 38353. Hurry now. Terms and conditions apply. Lush Hair. Be beautiful. Promo starts on the 1st of November and ends on the 15th of December, 2022. Ewo, Mazi, why you they shake like far away in beat now? Mama Karo, na malaria. Malaria won't kill me. Malaria kwa? When I get a masonat for house, a masonat go kick that malaria come on your body. Like bulldozer away or push you. Oh yeah, take, use them. Hey, 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 Mama Karo. I won't go Baba Chico the house to go collect money when they owe me. No, nah, no, nah, malaria don't come out. Mama Karo, I thank you. I thank Amasunat. Malaria don't come out for my body. Yes, Amasunat is an active anti-malaria drug that helps family treat malaria. Amasunat has artemeta and lumefantrine with variants for both adults and children. Amasunat is marketed by Greenfield Pharmaceuticals Limited and can be purchased at any pharmaceutical shop near you across Nigeria. Hear that? That's the sound of my children building their future through tech and getting ready to become the next tech champ in the Tech Champ Challenge by Digital Kids Academy. <laughs> tech Champ Challenge is the first of its kind, and my kids get to have fun learning coding, graphics, and digital media. It even gets better. They start to win loads of prizes worth one million naira. Mommy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's easy. Sign up on www.digitalkids.com.ng for your one-time online registration fee of 2,000 Naira only, and that's all. Also, your kids must be between 7 to 16 years old. Registration portal is open and closes December 15, 2022. Tech training starts 17th December, 2022. To find out more, call 0908-222-5683. Go register your kids for the Tech Champ Challenge now. Does anyone want snacks? Oh, mommy. Powered by the Fast Lane and Coal. Society for the Performing Arts in Nigeria will be having its first ever ballet competition tag, Nutcracker Ballet Competition. The aim is to give opportunities to the young ones in our community who would showcase their talent and celebrate the Christmas season. Date, December 10th, 2022. Venue, Guiding Light Assembly. Time, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Categories, 6 to 9 years. Beginners, 10 to 18 years. Intermediate, open to groups and individual. Prizes to be won, 1 million in cash. And consolation prizes. For registration and sponsorship, please contact 0701-079-5503. That is 0701-079-5503. Instagram at official span Nigeria. www.spannigeria.org or email to info at spannigeria.org for more information. Span performing wonders. The said girl shouldn't play with boys. The said girl shouldn't read the teaching. Girls should not play too much. The said girl shouldn't even mean too high. That a girl with a car will remain unmarried. A girl with a stable income will be proud. That a girl with smart will not be humble. That a girl in a male-dominated field is almost a boy. These stereotypes have contributed to the cause of the gender disparity in education and the tech industry. These are the realities for many girls in Africa. In the African professional tech space, only 30% are women. Let us help break the stereotypes by donating as little as $2 or 2,000 Naira. To train a girl in tech, help them get their heels in the door by visiting www.africaagility.rallyup.com forward slash PTAG to donate.
Dr. Abdulaziz Olajide Adedion Jando as Governor of Lagos State. PDP Power to, to the, the People! people. Oh, what fun it is to win in the Lush Hair Break to Millions promo. Christmas came early. Everyone is a winner in the Lush Hair Break to Millions promo. Get free 100 MB NTN data guaranteed on each pack and a chance to win 1 million Naira, a car, generator, and other amazing prizes. Simply buy Lush Hair Wow, Ready, Jumbo, or Mega Break Stack. Open the pack flap, scratch for pin, and SMS your unique pin to 38353. Hurry now. Terms and conditions apply. Lush hair. Be beautiful. Promo starts on the 1st of November and ends on the 15th of December, 2022. Uh, Afrobeat has conquered the world. This December, Afrobeat is coming home. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Cloud Talk Concert. Featuring live performances by Buju, Oxley, Big Tony, Ruga. Also featuring exciting interviews from some of Nigeria's brightest stars. Cloud Talk Concert will take place at the Echo Atlantic Victoria Island, Lagos on the 10th of December. Time is 6 p.m. Hurry, get your regular tickets for 5,000 Naira. VIP, 20,000 Naira. Tickets are available at tix.africa slash ctc. CTC is sponsored by TomTom Tom and refreshed by Pepsi. Cloud Talk Concert. Talk just got lit. Welcome back to your number one talk, news, and sports station. I'm Sandra Ezekwesili. You're listening to Hard Facts on 99.3 Nigeria Info. Every weekday from 3 p.m., we bring you three of the biggest stories of the day. Now, of course, you wouldn't guess this. You've been listening to Nigeria Info for the past three weeks. Uh, well, two weeks, really, because, well, the World Cup has been on. But there are no matches today, so I have my air back. And... Two of the biggest stories in the country are Tinubu's showing at Chatham House in Lagos. Our second story staying on that, but this time the one that is immediately after his presentation. By the way, by the way, before the interview, someone asked Tinubu why he's been missing town halls, debates, other media events in Nigeria. And he had this to say. I see myself as a marketable individual. <laughs> want to use me to make money, and I'm saying no. <laughs> All right. Are Nigerian media houses and other groups trying to make money from Tinubu's name? Or are they trying to get a candidate for the highest office in government to answer questions? I've got lots of videos to show you, um, and uh, a lot of them are some of the answers that Tinubu did give to the BBC. He answered those questions, and um, here's some of what he had to say. Hey, excuse me, sure, what? Have they proven it? The World Bank has, in the IMF have, uh, has investigated the record in Lagos. What's wrong with them? It's envy, envy. He was talking about the source of his wealth in that particular sound bite there. But let's go back to the beginning of what he said about his, the source of his wealth. Uh, they got to know how to analyze and how to ask questions, not in the accusatory format. Are they enemy of wealth? If they are not enemy of wealth, investment, do it. I have an example of a Warren Buffett. <coughs> uh, one of the richest men in, in, in the country, in, in, in America and in the world. He started from stock buying and brokerages. I inherited great real estate. I turned the values around. 
I'm, I'm not denying my wealth. I've not been, I, I was a, the most investigated, the most accused governor in the opposition up to, you know, from uh, uh, for eight years and up to 207. And since I left the office, I'm still there. I've not taken any government appointment, no government contract. He also spoke about uh, why you should vote for him. Because I'm different. I am Bola Ahmed Tinubu. I have governed Lagos. I built a model state that could be a country on its own. I've led an administration that is so prudent. From 600 million internally generated revenue to 5 billion a month. That's a record. Nobody else can brag about that. I've treated and tamed the Atlantic Ocean surge in Nigeria that will have perished many people in Lagos. The infrastructure renewal of Lagos is excellent. I've, I've continuity in Lagos. The, 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 where he has done his best. I, I can't run away from him being my friend, my leader in the party. I will not. Bola Ahmed speaking with the BBC there. Um, and in that clip that you just heard, Tinubu said he built modern Lagos. Do you agree? Now, this is a sentiment that I've heard his supporters repeat often and, you know, over and over again. He built Lagos. Do you agree? Atiku Abubakar doesn't agree. He said, quote, 53 years ago when I came to Lagos in 1969, there was only one Carter Bridge built by the Europeans, no second mainland bridge, no third mainland bridge, no TBS. Now, I want to tell you this is a fact. You can go and check. The federal government built the second mainland bridge, rebuilt the old Carter Bridge, built the third mainland bridge, rebuilt Agege uh, Motor Road, rebuilt Ikorodu Road, all the major roads connecting island and mainland, end quote. So is Atiku saying that the federal government built modern Lagos, not Bola Tinubu? Do you agree with him? Or do you agree with Tinubu? Or do you disagree with both of them? <laughs> I want to hear from old school Lagosians now, you know, the people who have lived in Lagos their whole lives. I want to hear from you. 0700-993-993-993. Tinubu also mentioned uh, mass recruitment into the military. It's something that um, his opponent, Atiku Abubakar, has also mentioned. But there's, of course, a question of um, how the government is going to pay for that. How, how will the government pay for a bigger military, considering that... Um, we have debt and revenue problems um, at the moment. And at the moment, the military that we currently have, we are underpaying them, underkitting them, underproviding for them. Tinubu also talked about insecurity. He said insecurity has reduced under Buhari. As evidence, he says, ISWAP no longer holds territory. Do you agree with his assessment? I'll give you an example. The Abuja Kaduna rail line just reopened. It's been shut down for months because of kidnappings, kidnappings by terrorists that have spread across both uh, the northwest and north central. Do you consider this an improvement since they don't actually hold territory? Or do you think this is worse? In the northeast, for example, there are still villages paying protection money to these groups. So, with all those facts in front of you, do you agree that insecurity has reduced under Buhari? By the specific example that ISWAP no longer holds territories. 
Now, of course, you heard what Tinubu said about his personal wealth. He said he inherited a fortune in real estate and he invested wisely. As much can he pass, Tinubu had that he made his money from saving his salary while he worked at Deloitte in the USA and investing the salary he saved. 0700-993-993-993. That's for men. Women call us on 01-465-7190. Some people are saying that this interview, um, you know, uh, proves that it doesn't matter that Tinubu redirected questions uh, to the public at Chatham House or to his to his delegates at the Chatham House. They're saying that because he sat down for this interview with the BBC, it doesn't matter that he did that. It doesn't matter that he has not been attending town halls with the other candidates. People have been saying that. Do you agree? Because here's the thing. If you watch that interview, it was pre-recorded, not live. It was also edited in many places, there's a stop and start between the question and Tinubu's answer. There's a lot of cut and join. So is a pre-recorded, edited interview able to tell you as much about a candidate's understanding and mastery as a live Q&A in front of the public is a pre-recorded interview as good a test for a candidate as a town hall or a debate with other candidates? 0700-993-993-993. Yes, I know. There's a lot to talk about. Feel free to attack it from whatever angle you want to. 0700-993-993-993-01465-7190. So many people waiting to get their hand on this story. So one minute is all you get. Hello. Thanks for calling us. Hello. Hello. Thank you for calling. What's your name? My name is Rita. Welcome, Rita. Go ahead. Thank you. Hmm. Okay, so um, for my analysis, mm -hmm. uh, I'm just going to say that um, we're just going to have a continuation of, uh, this is on the Silver's Market Chatham House. Okay. We're just going to have a, a continuation of presidents and presidency. That's just my own understanding. Okay. Right? Because that is what we currently have. We have the president and then we have the presidency who is always, um, speaking on behalf of the president. Okay. Then, um, in regards to Lagos, mm -hmm. yes, I'm not so old, so I wouldn't say I'm an old Lagos fan. Okay. But yeah, I think he is also right mm -hmm. in the sense that most of the infrastructure we had as was a result of the federal government. Don't forget that Lagos was once um, the capital of this country. That's right. Exactly. So, what exactly is still the same? All right. Thank you for calling. We've got uh, Kevin in Surulera on the line. Hi, Kevin. Hello. Good to have you on the show. Welcome. Kevin. Ah, Kevin's network don't start. Kevin, call us back if you can. 99.3, hello. Hey. Sandra. Good afternoon. Welcome. What's your name? IK. IK. You've got one minute, IK. Then please, Sandra, if I may ask you, mm -hmm. this Agege is really good. Is this my own Agege or another Agege? Your own now. Because my Agege, I was born in the 80s, goes in the 80s and the 90s. Mm -hmm. So I don't know the main Agege is talking about. Is it this present Agege that is not, that is full with Agur everywhere? Yes. Uh, let me rest my case here. All right. Thank you very much for calling. 99.3, hello. Ooh, sorry about that. Call us back if you can. 99.3. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon, Sandra. Good afternoon. What's your name, sir? I, I am Eze Doom from Surya. Welcome, Eze Doom. I would have loved to comment on Tinibu's escapade in Chatham House. Okay. But I want to concentrate on Portugal and Ronaldo. Okay. Thank you, Sandra. Mm. Sandra, you know that any company that doesn't have a, a source session plan mm. will not last long. Okay. The match show that the Portuguese coach mm. is a very good coach mm -hmm. that is planning ahead. Mm. If you watch the face of Ronaldo, mm -hmm. he was happy. Do you know the plan? What's the plan? The plan is that if the front team is not doing well, mm. before first 
half will end, mm. Ronaldo will come, or immediately the second half starts, he will come. Okay. Sandra, mm. if you watch the last World Cup, Ronaldo personally took the world with Spain, 3-3. Three, three. Ronaldo scored through the heading, through free kick, and through hot shot outside 18. So, because of how Morocco defeated Spain, the coach decided to rest Ronaldo to unleash him on Morocco. When he saw that the new boy is doing the job, he decided to rest Ronaldo longer. Hmm. Ronaldo is happy. Ronaldo is Portugal, Portugal, and Portugal is Ronaldo. Thank you very much for calling. Let's take a look at messages we have on social media, shall we? Uh, we've got uh, Adenupi Michael who says, leave Tinubu issues alone. Every day Tinubu this, Tinubu that. Let's con concentrate on the new CBN policies. Unfortunately, we're not even going to have the time to get into that. So stick around, 5 p.m. We'll get into it proper on our business segment, Balogun and Broad. At 4 o'clock, I want to talk to you about financial abuse. It's something that some men do uh, with their wives. They do everything they can to make sure that their wives are not financially empowered. We're going to talk about that at four, so don't miss it. Uh, this message from Andy Mann on WhatsApp says, I want to align myself with Atiku as far as the making of Lagos is concerned. Tinubu became Lagos state governor from 1999, whereas Lagos was already made before then. He did his best during his time, basically around Lagos Island. The main person Person that transformed Lagos is Fashola. All right. Uh, James from VI says, Sinubu did not build Lagos. Lagos has been existing since the colonial times until the Independence Day, 1st October 1960. Lagos has witnessed various state governors till Alahaji Latif Jakande, uh, um, oh, from Alahaji uh, Latif Jakande uh, was overthrown by General Muhammadu Buhari. Uh, the development of Jakande in Lagos for four years cannot be compared with Tinubu's administration for eight years. Jakande has done or performed far better in four years than the eight years of Tinubu. Building roads and putting toll gates are not development. Lagos has been a former capital territory. All right. Uh, this message here says, I won't blame Tinubu because I did exam malpractice when I was in school. Ah, you're just confessing to a crime on live radio. You know that, Abby. We've got this message here from Mia Lensky who says, It's a shame to know that a man who has worked in one of the best multinational companies in the world cannot answer simple questions about a country which he has once been an ex-governor of the state. If Tunubu can be, can be appointing people to answer his questions, then what's the use of a student writing his YEC exams? Uh, himself, since his questions can be assigned to his friends and family around him. Um, uh, okay, thank you very much. Uh, this final message says, Sandra, even Buhari answered questions when he was campaigning. What we're going to see with Tinubu will be much worse if he's allowed to become president. Uh, this message says, which, Tinu which Lagos did Tinubu build? VI, Leki, and Ikoyi are not Lagos, so... Okay, we'll take a break. <laughs> when we come back, we'll bring you the business news. I'm Sandra Ezekwesili. 32 countries. One mission. All eyes on the trophy. And a goal against Nigeria in the second.